When I first started working in local radio back in 1965, it was at a station in southern Indiana that, like many Indiana and Illinois and Missouri radio stations, carried every game of St. Louis Cardinal baseball. The chief announcer at the time was the legendary Harry Carey, long before he went to Chicago, and his young sidekick was Jack Buck, who would go on to replace Harry and then forge a sports legacy of his own. Let's go back to August 31st, 1966. The Cardinals at home had just lost to the Braves. After each Cardinal game, the Cardinals baseball network fed a sports show that wrapped up the games of the day, at least the ones that were over. And this particular one was voiced by Jack Buck. Hello again, everyone. Jack Buck back here at Bush Memorial Stadium. Here now with the Cardinals scoreboard. The final is 8-5 to five in favor of the Braves, who won the first game of this two-game series. We have a busy scoreboard for you. Detroit lost the first game of their doubleheader. Baltimore won, so the Baltimore lead is 11 and a half. The Giants won, the Pirates won, the Dodgers lost. So the Dodgers are now three games out. The Phillies won, and they are still eight off the pace. It's all over in the National League, so let's look there. 51,000 people at New York. Giants scored a run in the seventh to tie it, a run in the ninth to win it. Defeated the Mets 2-1. to one. Each team had four hits, no homers. Marichal won his 20th victory. He's 20-5. Jack Fisher, the loser, 9-12. Giants 2, Mets 1. Giants stay in first place, and they stay in a tie with the Pirates, who scored four runs in the fifth inning. Hung on for a 4-3 victory. Willie Davis had a three-run homer for the Dodgers in the sixth. Blast the winner, Odell finished. A crowd of 31,000 at Pittsburgh. Drysdale took the loss. Willie Davis, three-run homer, the only homer of the game. Pittsburgh, four. Dodgers, three. Pirates and Giants still tied. And as a result of the Dodgers losing, Los Angeles is three games behind. Philadelphia, Wallop Houston, 10-5. to The winner short, his 16th victory. Bob Bruce, the loser. Richie Allen, a two-run homer, got them off and running. Lee May homered for Houston. Philadelphia won it 10-5. The Reds came from behind. They trailed 5 to nothing. Scored three in the seventh and a home run by Gordon Coleman. They scored four in the eighth, three of them on a homer by Art Shamsky and won the game from the Cubs 7-5. Davidson, the winner. Kurt Simmons, the loser. A crowd of 7,000 in Cincinnati. The Reds won it 7-5 over the Cubs. The Reds stay 10 out, move into fifth place. The Cardinals 11 out. The Braves 14 out. In the American League, a single game. And Jim Cott won his 21st ball game of the year. Minnesota 11, Boston 2. Lee Stans, a loser. Canigliaro, a homer for the only Boston runs. And Allen had a home run for the winning Twins. They won the ball game 11-2 over Boston. Baltimore came from behind, defeated Cleveland 5-1. The winner, John Miller, Fisher and Stu Miller pitched. McDowell, the loser. Make it Tiant, the losing hurler. Frank Robinson, a home run, is 43rd of the year, giving him 101 runs batted in. Baltimore, 5, Cleveland, 1. Baltimore increased the lead to 11 and a half when Chicago defeated Detroit in the first game of a doubleheader, 7 to 6. The White Sox tied it in the 9th. Cash homered in the 10th. The White Sox tied it in the 10th, won it in the 12th. Brown and McAuliffe also homered, in addition to the homer by Cash. Wirt hit one for the White Sox. The winner was Wilhelm, the loser, Pena. Chicago 7, Detroit 6. Second game, no score. Third inning, Padres against Peters. Washington 3 to nothing over Kansas City. A four-hitter by McCormick. Gil Blanco, the loser. Howard, a home run for Washington. They won the first game 3 to nothing. Kansas City leads in the second game 2 to nothing at the end of three. More against Lindblad. In the bottom of the third, the Angels are batting, trailing the Yankees 1 to nothing. Downing against Chance. And so some of the games are still going. Cincinnati beat the Cubs 7 to 5. American League, Minnesota over Boston, 11-2. Baltimore won their game from Cleveland, 5-1. White Sox won the first game from Detroit, 7-6. Here tonight, it was 8-5 as the Braves won the game. Carroll the winner, Pache the loser. Game time tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. It'll be Kelly against Carlton. Once again, the final. Atlanta, 8. The Cardinals, 5. And that's the Cardinals scoreboard. August 31st, 1966, the Cardinals had just lost the first of a two-game set to the Braves, visiting in St. Louis. The announcer for the scoreboard show, a rather young Jack Buck. 